this class we go through two problems on parallel resonance in two kinds of circuit first problem is 40 microfarad capacitor its resistance is 2 ohm 10 milli henry's inductor its resistance is 5 ohm both are connected in parallel supply voltage is 120 volts the question is calculate the resonance frequency supply current i il and ic first we calculate the resonance frequency Formula is 1 by 2 by root L into C root R L square into C minus L divided by R C square into C minus L in hertz. Substitute all the values in this equation, resonant frequency is 240 hertz. Next we will calculate XL. XL is equal to 2 by FL. XL is equal to 15.88 ohms. XC is equal to 1 by 2 by FC. XC is equal to 16.58 ohms. At resonance, XL by R square plus XL square is equal to XC by RC square plus XC square. We calculate this value is 0.06, this value is 0.06. Next, we calculate the phase component of the IL. IL is equal to I into cos by L. I is equal to V by root of R R square plus XL square. Cos by L is equal to R by root R square plus XL square. Therefore, IL is equal to V into R divided by R square plus XL square. Substitute all the values in this equation. IL is equal to 2.38. That is the phase component. The quadrature component is I into sin pi C. That is V into XL by R square plus XL square. That is equal to 7.17 amps. Next, we calculate the phase component of IC. That is I into cos pi C. That is V into RC divided by RC square plus XC square. That is equal to 0.86 amps. The quadrature component of IC is equal to I into sin pi C. I into sin pi C is equal to V into XC by R square plus XC square. That is equal to 7.13 amps. Here, the both values are almost equal in opposite direction. So, it is it get cancelled. We have to only add the phase component. That is 2.38 plus 0.86. This, com this current. So I is equal to phase component of IL plus phase component of IC that is equal to 3.24 that is the supply current. So I is equal to 3.24, IL is equal to 2.38, IC is equal to 0.86, resonant frequency is 240 Hz. The second problem is XC value is given minus J 10 ohms. This resistance is 20 ohms. XL is equal to 20 ohms. RL is a variable resistor. The question is find the value of RL for which the parallel circuit will be resonate. That is the question. And also calculate the IL, IC, total current I. Supply voltage is 120 volts. I is equal to phase component of IL, phase component of IC. At resonance, XL by R square plus XL square is equal to XC by R C square plus XC square. Simplify the equation. R square is equal to XL by XC into R C square plus XL by XC into XC square minus XL square. Therefore, R square is equal to 600 ohms. You know all the values, substitute all the values in this equation. RL square is equal to 600 ohms. RL is equal to 24.5 ohms. Next we calculate IL. IL is equal to V into RL divided by XL square plus RL square. IC is equal to V into RC by XC square plus RC square. Substitute all the values in this two equations. IL is equal to 2.94 amps. IC is equal to 4.8 amps. The supply current I is equal to Phase component of IL plus phase component of IC. So I is, is equal to 2.94 plus 4.8. That is equal to 7.74 amps. Resistance variation in parallel resonance to branch circuit. By varying RL or by varying RC, I can vary the resonance frequency. At resonance XL by RL square plus XL square is equal to xc by rc square plus xc square. Calculate rl. Simplify the equation. rl is equal to root xl by xc into rc square plus xl into xc minus xl square. Similarly, I can calculate rc. rc is equal to root 
xc by xl into r square plus xc into xl minus x square. Now we will see parallel resonance at all frequencies. When rl is equal to rc, resonance frequency fr is equal to 1 by 2 by root l into c. That is the series resonance circuit frequency. In the parallel resonance two branch circuit at resonance xl by r square plus xl square is equal to xc by rc square plus xc square. We know that xl is equal to omega l, xc is equal to 1 by omega c. Substitute in this equation and simplify the equation, you will get l into rc square into omega square into c square plus l is equal to rl square into c plus c into omega square into l square divide both sides by lc and simplify it you will get rc square into omega square into c plus 1 by c that is equal to rl square by l plus omega square into l this is the capacitive branch this is the inductive branch if rl is equal to rc is equal to root l by c rl square is equal to rc square is equal to l by c substitute this rl square is equal to rc square is equal to l by c in this equation you will get l into omega square plus 1 by c is equal to 1 by c plus l into omega square this is the capacitive branch this is the inductive branch therefore each branch is affected identically by the change in frequency with this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.